Hi there. Well, I thought I'd share with you today a little project that I'm just going to do. It's kind of a, a bit of a side project to distraction while I'm just waiting for some materials to come for something else I'm building. And this is a 20 inch rubber powered model and it's called the Noctule. Now, the Noctule is a British species of bat, Nictilus noctula, and this looks very similar to that actually when you see noctules flying over your head, the, the bat that is. And it's, uh, it's just a small, simple, easy rubber model, and, but with a very distinctive flair to it. Now, this design appeared in a copy of Aero Modeler in March 1988. So we've got a full set of plans that came with it as well, which is really good. And if I just show you, there's the actual build article, and you can see the plane there. It's quite a, a quirky, funny designed plane, but it does look very similar to the Nocturne Bat. Now, this was designed by quite a well known British designer who also ran performance kits. He was known sort of locally as Peter Fisher, but his real name or his full name. Uh, was Ocean Francis William Fisher and he designed some very distinctive looking planes and I think all of, as far as I know, all of his models flew really really well and my understanding that he, he, is that he didn't just design something and then put it out there he actually designed it and modified it and modified it and so when you bought one of his kits in, in he had the performance kits from the 1950s through, and I think it was till you know, the early 2000s, something like that, late 1990s, uh, 1990s. and um, he wouldn't just design something and then put it out. My understanding is he would modify it and modify it and change it, because some of his models you'll see is Mark 42, where he's actually changed it and varied it as a succession of, of designs. So anyway, enough of that. We've got a great set of plans. I've copied the original plans from the um, uh, magazine and we'll have a quick look at those and then we'll get building it. Like I say, it's a 20 inch model, so it's only a, a small rubber model, just a little bit of fun. Now I should have said, if you can't get hold of a magazine with the free plans in it, then have a look in the description below this video and I'll provide a link to where you can download the plans to build this. And if you've got these videos, that will help as well if you can't get the text from Aero Modeler. There's, there's very little, to be honest, and it's fairly straightforward. So anyway, let's get on. OK, well, I've got the plans stuck down on my balsa building board, nice and flat. I've got them covered with some of this uh, cling film. It's like a food wrap. And what we have to do is we have to build the wings flat like this but we don't join them here here or here because we have an anhedral and then a dihedral wing you can see here how uh, how that's going to play out which is going to be really interesting once we've got these built actually gluing them together to get that um, to get that nicely balanced shape once we've got that built, we cover them with tissue, just the top surface. Reading the uh, the article that, uh, that that comes with it, there is no tissue on the underside. It's just on the top side. So we cover the top with tissue, and then we build the uh, the uh, fuselage and the tail on top of the. Uh, the tissue. So it's just a really, really light structure and I'm going to be using some of the lightest balsa I've got for this. So I think what I'll do first is I've got to get those wings done. Right, well I thought it was worth having a quick look at this. I've got the one wing built really easy and I've put in little bits of plastic to just to stop these joints from sticking together so we can take those as separate components. I came to build this side, <laughs> and as I always say, don't trust the plans. I'd got this trailing edge pinned down, and when I made or cut these two pieces, I cut 
identical pieces for the other side. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but that is identical. But when we slip it in there, the, pl <laughs> the plan is slightly different. Now you can see there's about, I don't know, it's only about a sixteenth of an inch, perhaps, that, uh, that's different, but it's a different size. Um, I suspect that's not for flight characteristics or aerodynamic reasons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off the plan now. And actually, before I do that, I will just put in that little bit of a gusset there. I just noticed that. But we can take this side off, certainly. And then um, I will make another wing on top of this side. And... Uh, is that going to come off? Oh, there we go. Uh, we can make another wing on that side and just flip it over for uh, for this side. And then we'll know that they're exactly uh, the same or identical. So, but we've got one of our wings there. And I, like I say, I'll put that gusset in, take this off, and then we'll get the other side built. Right, well, I've got these off the board now, and they are identical. The difference between the one side and the other, the left and the right, was minute. It was, it was hardly worth worrying about anyway. Uh, I've done that now. W what I'm doing is I've just gone round and just made sure that these are almost ready to cover, if you like, just that there's no bits sticking up from the, uh, from the CA. Because once these get glued together, this is going to be really awkward to sand. So what I need to think about now is how I'm going to glue this together. We've got the anhedral, which is going to be up like that. We've got a one inch at the beginning of the leading edge rise. And then we've got a, I think it's 1.8, is it 1 point? No, 1.6 dihedral on this section with a, a, a 1.6 inch rise there. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I'm going to have a think about it and then we'll come back and have a quick look either how I've done it or how I'm going to do it. Right there we go. I've set that up now. I've got a, a pin with a, a glass head in this piece of balsa and the top of that glass pin is one inch which is what it needs to be on the underside of the balsa. So I've got it just resting on there now. I've got these blocks just stopping it from spreading out, keeping it right at the front and the back. I can actually remove this pin if I'm really careful because it's all holding together. I haven't put any glue on it yet. I'm going to do that now. And as you can see, no glue. So I'm just going to, I might just touch that back with a piece of sandpaper to get it just perfect, but I'm quite pleased with that. I'm going to get that glued. And then, and then we'll do, I think this is probably the easy bit compared to getting the outer wings done, but we will see. Right, well, I've got this set up now and I'm about to glue this, uh, what is it, left-hand wing. And I've just angled those surfaces that meet and they're pretty good. They're not perfect, but they're pretty good. And I've, I've held the center section so that it can't move. And I've got this block on this side here. And that just lifts that at the tip by 40 mil, which is 1.6 inches. And that's just perfect. I've then got this one to do. I haven't angled that yet. And, uh, and I'll do that in exactly the same way. It, it's actually relatively simple once you get your head around it. It's just with these angling back and the angles, how they change, it's, it, it, you just <laughs> it's a bit of a brain teaser. But anyway... We've got it there, it's not overthought, I don't think. So I'm gonna glue that now, and then we'll get this one done. <laughs> well, I am really pleased, look at that. Isn't that, uh, isn't that gorgeous, lovely shape? I, I, I had several days thinking about this on and off, over-engineering how I could make something to set it all out. But to be honest, just propping it up on those box, uh, blocks has come out really nice. I can't see any difference, any warps or deformities or anything like that. So I'm really pleased with, with, with getting that done and a little bit relieved. Now on the plans it shows, where are we? That's the, front, <laughs> that's the front. Just from these wing tips there needs to be a couple of little bits of bent thin wire for some one inch plastic wheels, some really light wheels. So, so I'm going to get those bent up 
and then they just bind to these uh, two one eighth sections here. I also need to give it quite a nice gentle sand and then we'll have a look at it and then after that we're going to start covering because the next stage is to put the tissue on the top and then we build the fuselage on top of the tissue. This is a theme with some of Peter Fisher's designs. To keep the weight down he tissues them and then builds a the fuselage on. When I built my ion I did it slightly different and the only other way to do it slightly different is to put extra balsa in to support the tissue and that at the side of the fuselage which I really don't want to do with this because I want to keep this as light as possible and I'm using my lightest balsa very little weight to this so I'll get those uh, wheels bent, uh, wheel um, uh, landing gear wire bent up and we'll have a look Right, well I've now bent up the, the landing gear or at least the, the supports for the wheels, the, the struts and I've copied the plan and I've sewn them on and I've actually sewn them through the balsa using a, a needle which just pushes through. I think looking at the plans it, they may have done it before these gussets but I quite liked having those gussets in at, uh, at the point I took the, plan, the, uh, the wing off the plans. So I've sewn it through the balsa with a needle and not the neatest sewing in the world but it'll be fine and I'm just going to give that a nice thin smear of epoxy. I really don't want to use too much because uh, I don't want to add to the weight because it's nice and light. So we'll get that done and then I think this wing is ready to be covered. Well I've got this to a point now where I think essentially we've got the wing finished and we've got the landing gear all glued on now. I'm just going to need to run a, a little bit of sandpaper over this just to check it's okay but it feels really nice. Now the next job as I said earlier is to cover this wing before we build the fuselage and put it on but I'm going to do that in the next video so I'm going to draw this video to a close and in the meantime I'm going to be scratching my head and trying to work out uh, a design for this, just uh, something nice and simple, nice and bright and I've got this absolutely lovely Japanese Asuka tissue that I'm going to put on. But anyway I hope you found it interesting, this quirky little rubber powered 20 inch model and I hope you'll come back and, uh, and see how we get on in the next video where we do the covering.